Hey guys, Kevin here, and this is Pure Reviews, where I review all kinds of products. So if you are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And in particular, if you find this video useful or helpful, be sure to hit that like button before you go. Maybe leave a comment that says thanks. Really helps out the channel a ton, and I greatly appreciate it. So today's product is available on Amazon. I've included a link in the description that will take you to the product page, where you can see the current price point, see if it's on sale, all that lovely information. But what is it? So the next product I want to share with you is a great uh, digital alarm clock slash lamp. So this is perfect for your nightstand, uh, your guest bedroom. If you have like a short term rental for guests, you can utilize it there or you can even utilize it on an office desk. So once you order it, it's by a company called um, Capton. This is the box it comes in. Once you open it up, you will get a user manual, but we're gonna go over a lot of the features right now in the video. Uh, you also are gonna get a USB to USB type C uh, cable here. This is how you are going to plug it in. It does not include an adapter. So you either need an adapter or you need to have a wall outlet that has a USB plug. Uh, then you get the light itself. So as you can see, it's nice and compact here. Uh, you have the alarm clock element down here at the bottom, and then you have uh, the super tall a little stem here, which has the down light. Now you can, when this arrives, you're just gonna push this in place. So if you don't like this part, you don't necessarily have to use it. It is up to you. Now this uh, little clock here has multiple lights. So let's go over those first. So first off, you have the top light here. There is a power button right here on the top. Simply press that and it's going to turn on. Now this thing has three different brightness levels. So just tap the power button again and it will get brighter and brighter um, and then cast down. Now it also has three different color temperatures. So it has the white light, it has the very warm light, which is great for reading at nighttime um, or you know right before bed so you don't have that blue light look. Then you have the middle where it's um, a little bit of both uh, and then back to the nice and bright lights. So once again, this is a great way, kind of like a task light, lights up your whole desk. To turn it off, just simply hold your finger down over the power button and it will turn off. Now, as far as the secondary lighting option, you have, this is a little light here. So on the other side is a little kind of moon. Uh, press that and it will activate this um, light around the clock. That also has three different brightness levels. So simply just tap that and it's going to get, um, the go, cycle through the three different options as far as lighting up. Uh, then finally, it also has a color changing light around there. Now this is a really cool uh, effect. So as you can see, it's just kind of like this RGB and it rotates and it's just a lot of fun. You have three of those modes. So simply press uh, the end button and it will cycle through those modes. So you kind of have this green one here that cycles through different colors and kind of is a breathing mode. Uh, then you have the just one where it rotates around in a circle and then one where it kind of goes around like um, from the top to the bottom in different colors. Uh, now, another feature, like I said, these lights are great as far as ambiance, but this does have two alarm clock options. Uh, and within that alarm clock options, you do have the ability to wake up by light. So what does that mean? That basically means 10 minutes before your alarm clock goes off, the light will activate uh, and provide a little light around you um, and kind of ease you into waking up. That is completely optional. If you don't want to have that feature on, um, you can simply just keep it turned off. How you will notice that is right next to the number, um, the hour number, you will see a little sun icon. That little sun icon is telling you that uh, it will activate the light with the alarm clock. But like I said, you can cycle to have that on or off. Uh, it's up to you. Now to turn off the lights, once again, just hold down the button and it will turn off the clock lighting itself. Now this uh, little guy right here also has um, seven different options when it comes to a sound machine. Now they're all nature-based kind of uh, sound machine. So think uh like a uh, little waterfall, think rain and thunder, birds chirping, fireplace logs, that kind of stuff. Um, you simply, to activate that, there's this little kind of white noise button. Just press that and it will turn on. And as you can see, um, or here, basically we have some birds chirping. Now the sound machine does have the volume ability to do one through 12, so it can get very loud. How are you gonna activate that is you're just gonna simply hold down 
um, the, the white noise button, and then it will go into the screen here. That's gonna let you adjust through the different sounds. Um, so that way you can pick out which one is uh, your favorite. Tap it again and it's gonna activate the timing. So you have 30 minutes, 60 minutes, or 90 minutes. Um, tap it again and then you have your volume options, which is that one to 12. So you can kind of figure out how uh, loud you want it. Um, if you wanna turn it off, simply tap it and it will turn off. Just like when you simply tap it, it will turn on. Now let's go over the alarm clock because it does have two alarm clock modes for during the week versus the weekend. Uh, it's kind of up to you. Uh, you'll have your first alarm clock option right there. Uh, the second one is right there. And as you can see, it says weekend uh, versus weekday. If you keep pressing it now, it's activated both of them. Uh, right there in the middle, once again, is where that sun icon basically saying, hey, it's going to turn on the light first. Uh, and then at the top there is where it's going to tell you uh, what time the alarm clock will go off. And so you'll just tap this to cycle through your various options. As far as your alarm clock sounds, it does have three different um, sounds. Uh, they are different from the white noise machine. One's like a little cuckoo clock. One's kind of more like a nature sound. Um, then basically, you can pick which one you want. It also does have a snooze option, which you can press the little clock once it's going off, and it will. Uh, you can set that option in the settings. Also, it does have a five minute, ten minute, or fifteen minute snooze option. I really don't use the snooze feature, but it is there if you want. Um, now, another feature this does have: it does do uh, military time if you so wish um, on the back button. Uh, you can simply press that, and as you can see, the AM disappears, and so it will go from 12 hours to 24 hours if you wish. Um, how you set it, the controls are on the back here. You have the S, which is going to be uh, setting it. Uh, simply just tap that, and the will start blinking. And then there's the up and down arrows, so, so that way you can adjust the time. Oops, I'm hitting the light here. Uh, but yeah, so uh, you can go through and you can customize all the various features on this clock which is a great uh, little option here for you. Um, if you are in the market for a nice little alarm clock um, with light feature, uh, I think this one is totally worth checking out. It's nice and compact, has a ton of various settings, so that way you can find a setting that is perfect for you. And for all those reasons, I do highly recommend it. If there's something that I quite didn't cover that you're a little curious about, feel free to hit me up in the comment section. I do typically respond to those. And that is it until the next video. You guys take it easy. Later. Congrats, you made it to the end of the video. Thank you very much. Um, greatly appreciated for the support. Be sure to uh, hit that like button on the video. It really, really does help out. And if you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell if you want to uh, get notified when new videos come out on this channel.